Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Troy Goldie, marriage officer. What a pleasure once again to be with you. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm on my bike. It's the last Saturday of the month of September, the 30th of September. Tomorrow is October. Can you believe it? Wow, man, this year has just flown past. Been probably one of the worst years that I've had in a long time. Uh, but I mean every year I seem to say the same thing that every year has its difficulties but this year has been quite difficult in many ways anyway but uh, enough of that you can see the beautiful mountains in front of us those are the Selimosh mountains the, the Helderberg mountains and uh, I don't know if you can see but there's the moon you can see the moon just above the, 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 the mountains and uh, um, those of you that have seen vlogs of mine before will recognize this area because I am once again on my way to one of my favorite venues here in the Western Cape to do weddings and that is the amazing Hudson's wedding venue and restaurant and uh, it's gonna be great to be back there um, I was there last Saturday I think last Saturday last Friday last Saturday Friday somewhere there somewhere there last Saturday that's right last Saturday I was here as well but I'm back again and this time for another wedding of another wonderful couple and uh, this time the couple is Nick and Kelly and Nick and Kelly I've been looking forward to their wedding for a while now see this is the beauty of what I do is because I get really involved in finding out detail about my couples and sort of becoming um, excited with them about the prospect of their wedding and uh, everything that's going to happen at the wedding um, it gives me a sense of excitement even though I do weddings every single weekend you know a lot of people might think oh that's pretty boring I mean how can you make it fresh how can you make it new how can you make it different well I'll tell you how I make it different it's because it's a couple a new couple um, you know if I married the same couple every weekend I suppose that would get pretty boring pretty quickly but because it's a new couple um, you know they're different they different in every single way you know they've got different backgrounds they do different things for job different ages different religions different sexes uh, different everything um, so no two couples that I marry are alike and that that to me is also quite amazing because although the venues are fantastic so I look forward to the weddings because of the couples all right so Kelly and Nick you guys are about to get married um, you've got a fantastic day blue beautiful blue skies and I'm going to be turning into Hudson's here at Freedom Army State ladies and gentlemen if you don't do yourself a favor and come and see this wonderful venue you will be sorry um, not only does Friedenheim, Friedenheim have lovely wild stock, uh, livestock I should, and wild stock, wild animals, there's some, uh, some kudus and some zebra and oh there's more zebra and there's some springbokies, yeah so there's a lot of good um, places to go around here to have a look. Oh, we, always want to make sure there's no train coming I saw a train go past it just now so that's cool all right so yeah and this right in front of us is the old Friedenheim uh, mansion or Friedenheim house the original house and I've actually done a wedding in front of that house and I've got a wedding coming up shortly at a chapel that's behind the house um, which I think they've just done a bit of a revamp on so I'm looking forward to that It'll be interesting to come here and actually not go to Hudson's to do a wedding. Uh, it's going to be here at the uh, Barrick Hotel, um, a Barrick restaurant, restaurant Barrick. Uh, Litana and Roger are getting married there, but that's not my couple. So unless I see the names Nick and Kelly soon, I'm going to start panicking that I might have found the wrong spot. But I doubt it. Kelly and Nicholas that might be the boy and the girl that I want to marry okay guys so I'm gonna speak to you inside show you a little bit of footage um, I've shown you lots of video of this wonderful venue but you know what you can't do anything more than just show what you can show it's great so let's do it 
Hudson's on the go. If you are keen, you can have your food delivered to you anywhere in the area of Stellenbosch. It's free delivery, I see. And uh, but you can go look at Hudson's on the go.co.za and you can get your meal evening meals all set up, sent to you. And that could be quite nice, I would imagine. Because the food here is very good. Hey, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me once again at the beautiful Hudson's. This is a stunning venue, um, as I say every time I come here. Um, they've been quite busy apparently, they had two matric farewells on Wednesday and Thursday. They had a wedding on Friday night, they had a wedding this morning, they've got a wedding this evening and they've got another wedding tomorrow. So you can see it's quite a, a popular venue. So if you're looking to, you're wanting to use this venue, don't wait too long to make the booking because uh, the chances are they might be booked out. So get, get in contact with Rhiannon and, uh, and see what they can do for you. And as the balloons are bouncing around in the wind, these balloons are going to be used as a symbol of remembrance for the bride's father who unfortunately passed away a few years back and they're going to release these balloons into the air and uh, yeah it's going to be quite symbolic and everybody's going to have one and everybody's going to be able to do it You are here to celebrate this wonderful time that these two people are going to have. They're going to make promises to each other and they're going to step off on a journey together as husband and wife. And it gives me great pleasure on behalf of them to welcome you here. I just want to, right at the beginning here, just pause for a moment. And I want us just to reflect on the balloons that have just been released. And just have a quick moment of silence to remember Dion, Kelly's dad. He is not here in, pre in person, but he certainly is here in spirit. Kelly, do you want to get married to uh, Nick? Yes. Sure? Yes. 
Can I talk you out of it? No. Okay. <laughs> Last chance? Huh? <laughs> Are you guys single? No. Oh? No, okay. <laughs> Nick, do you want to marry? 100%. 100%? Okay, no doubt. Fantastic. Guys, do you love each other? How much? A lot. A lot? Every part of you? Excellent. Guys, you're standing here today because of that very fact. You're standing here because you love each other. Don't allow yourself just to hear the words and just simply say, I love you too. Because that's what we do when we're married. We say, I love you. The other one says, I love you too. And, but it loses the meaning because you don't actually contemplate what is the feelings behind it, the emotion behind it. Guys, if you're standing here and you're truly able to say, you know what, the person standing in front of me right now is my best friend. And you genuinely can say that and you mean that. I don't want you to ever not have the ability to say that. Okay, I'll try my best to do you. So Kelly, from the moment I first saw you, I knew you'd be the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I'll never forget the feeling I felt that day. Because I never stopped feeling that. And I never ever want to stop feeling that. And I want to keep feeling and experiencing it with you every day. Because it gets stronger and stronger, even up to today. <coughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so it's finally our special day. That night you jumped out of your car in the pouring rain to give me one last kiss before you left to go to Iraq was the night that we knew we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. I've waited and dreamed my whole life for the feelings you give me. You're my best friend, my lover, and my person. Through all our highs and lows and the ones to come, you have and will always be the one for me. In the presence of God and before these witnesses, Nick, Kelly, you've given your consent and you've made your vows to each other. You've declared your marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore now have the privilege to declare that you, Kelly and Nick, are to be husband and wife together from this day forward. That which God has joined together, let no one ever divide. Well, there we go ladies and gentlemen that is another wedding uh, another Saturday finished in fact it's another month of weddings finished because it's the 30th of September and the weddings are finished for this month tomorrow I have another wedding it is going to be the 1st of October but uh, yeah so this wedding at Hudson's Freedom went well so so well very lovely couple Nick Nick is a uh, quite an interesting guy because he he's been in Iraq and he's done quite a few things and he's a health and safety officer on movie sets and stuff so it's quite cool and um, Kelly I mean Kelly is just just a stunning girl as well and uh, it was nice to be part of it so guys I want to just say to you thank you very much thank you very very much for allowing me to be here to be part of your wedding and uh, it is always a pleasure to come back to this wonderful place called Hudson's um, I did a selfie uh, I'm not really a selfie person, but I did a selfie uh, with uh, both the couple and I did a selfie with, um, well, the three main wise men, no, uh, that's wrong, with the three staff members, senior staff members of Hudson's and uh, I'll put that up on the screen and you can have a look. Cool people, awesome, awesome people. It's Rhiannon there in the middle and she is the events coordinator. I'm going to put Hudson's details up on screen now. Please feel free to um, contact them if you are interested in doing your wedding here. As I've said before, they are fairly booked. So uh, don't hesitate if you're going to look for a venue um, for the in the future. Obviously, this is a place that you should and need to consider. And uh, yeah, so their details are on screen now. Contact Rhiannon. And then I want to just say thank you very much again to you all for joining me on this vlog. I want to say thank you to the couple for allowing me to vlog their wedding. 
But yes, so that wedding's finished. Now my name Troy Goldie, marriage officer. You are more than welcome to contact me. You can find my details on my Facebook page. Uh, you can also find my details uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can Google me, Troy Goldie, marriage officer, and I'm sure you'll come up with some lots of stuff there as well. And um, use my phone, use my email, and uh, whichever other way you would like to get hold of me. Um, I am very keen to be part of your wedding and it will be a pleasure and an honor to do that. In the meantime, for those that are just with for the ride and to enjoy this time that we have uh, and we celebrate the beautiful weather and we celebrate all this love in the air and we celebrate the fact that we are alive. That is what is most important, that we are alive, that we can just enjoy our lives. So guys, I just want to say, live for today you never know what tomorrow is going to bring be there for each other love each other unconditionally and just build and build and build at your relationship don't ever take that for granted uh, until next time troy goldie marriage officer please like subscribe and share my facebook page and my youtube channel at 17 one seven subscribers now which has moved up a bit um, but it's nice to see it's growing steadily but yes it's nice to see that a lot of people are actually viewing the vlogs and hopefully they'll find them interesting uh, until next time my name is troy goldie thank you very much have a good time and speak soon cheers